Hi everyone, welcome to this Val tutorial. My name's Glenn, and today we're going to be going through some 3D camera tracking. It's only the basics, but you can go from here and make a lot of really, really cool things. Here's what you're going to be making today. So we're gonna go from this simple glide cam footage, and we're gonna create some nice dynamic text flying in and tracking to the cat's head. Here are some other things that you can do with 3D camera tracking. So 3D camera tracking works best on any kind of shot you've got where you have a lot of movement and you want to track something into that footage like it's actually there. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go file new project and import our footage. And we're gonna drag this footage down into the new composition. So here's our footage. We actually created this with a tripod and then used warp stabilizer to create this glide cam effect. So we're gonna go up to window, workspace, and change the controls that we've got to motion tracking. And as you can see, it adds the tracking panel over here, which is what we're going to use. So if you click on your footage and then track camera, then what this will do is analyze your footage so that it can work out what's in the foreground, what's in the background, and that's gonna take a little while, so I'm gonna skip forward here. Once that's done, the next thing that will come up is solving camera, and this is where it's placing all the tracking markers onto your footage. So this might take a little while, so I'll skip forward again. So there we go, we've got all of our tracking markers on our footage. As I scrub through, you can see some of them change. Some of them stay the same all the way. We've got tons of tracking markers to work with. These tracking markers are a place you can attach an object to. They're a little bit big at the moment, so what we're going to do is change the track point size, get that down to about 30%, and change the target size as well, as the targets are quite large. Okay, so if we look at the advanced panel, what you can see here is an average error. You want the error to be as low a number as possible. The higher number it is, the more errors that there are, and you won't get a great track. So anything above 1.5, uh, anything above one really isn't great. Anything above 1.5, you don't really want to use it. You wanna, you're gonna wanna try the detailed analysis button which is just below it. Okay, so let's get started with attaching an object to one of these tracking points. Try and find a few tracking points which stay on the footage while you scrub through it. And if you use three tracking points, so if you click in between and get that target up, your object is going to be able to do is it's going to be able to change perspective and move with these tracking points. So we'll find a good section with three tracking points and right click and create text and camera. So there we go, we've created the text. Let me just change that to white so it's easier to see. So you can see the text is at a strange angle at the moment, but it's tracked to that cat's head and as the cat moves its head, it moves its position, and that's exactly what we want. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to alter the rotation to get the right position for the text. So if you click the down arrows and just play around with these values on until it looks about the right perspective. Let's change that to cat. And let's resize it down, scale it down a little bit so it fits on the cat's head a bit more. It's in a bit of an odd place. It's still not looking quite right. So what we're going to do is take it off the cat's head and I think float it in midair a little bit. So we're going to change the anchor point to change where the position is rather than the position transform control. As we don't want to change the position in 3D space, we just want to move it up or left, wherever we want to move it. So the anchor point will let us do that without altering the perspective, where it's going to move in 3D space or anything like that. So there we go, we've got it tracked to the cat's head. This can sometimes take quite a long time to get the right track, but this isn't, this isn't a bad track and it's, it's moving with the cat's head. We could probably get a better track if we took some time with it, but for now that'll do for us. So we're going to duplicate that layer 
and move it across with the anchor point and then type something different this is a incredibly dangerous cat so we're going to we're going to write extremely dangerous call the police if seen so let's resize that a little bit and use the anchor point again to change the position scale it down a little bit so the tracking is done as you can see the both the text tracks to the cat's head they're not perfect tracks but if we take a little bit more time we can get a much better track but for now they they'll do for us so what we're going to want to do we don't want them to stay there the whole time we want them to kind of fly in dynamically so now we're going to keyframe the anchor points so this text flies in rather than sitting there the whole time. So if we go to our anchor point and click the stopwatch, we'll get a keyframe come up. And if we move the timeline indicator backward, make our second keyframe. And let's make that a bit shorter. Now we're going to want to try and make a bounce so it doesn't just fly in. You want it to bounce a little bit. So if we make a keyframe, make the anchor point slightly higher and then make another keyframe and make it a slightly lower it will do this kind of bounce that's great if you select all of them and right click and click easy ease then that will give it a smooth motion and it will look like it's bouncing as it hits the imaginary surface there we go that looks much better so now we're going to do the same thing and keyframe the other text in the same way so there we go, we've got our dynamic text. All that's left to do now is the fine touches. I'm going to just change that to red. And we're going to add a little bit of color correction. One thing you might notice with your footage is the text might not fit in with the scene because it's too sharp, and too detailed. So what you're going to want to do is put a little bit of a blur on it. So if you go to effect, blur and sharpen, and fast blur, and just change that to one. And that's enough of a blur just to fit in a bit more to the scene. If we put that on both, then you'll find that your text will sit nicely in your scene and it will look a lot more like it's actually there. Okay, that's it. That's some simple 3D tracking. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. We'll have more tutorials on the way soon. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe. Click the button down below. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.